Hey guys, so we are coming to you live because I actually had to physically prune my plants. Why? Because one, my Thai basil is already seeding and once it seeds, it sends signal to the roots and it tells it, hey, we're going to seed and we're going to die now. And I don't want that to happen. My dill is just overgrown. My basil, Genovese basil, is doing perfectly fine. And my thyme is doing perfectly fine. My parsley as well, my curly parsley. But we're going to cut it anyway because we're going to trim it down. So my middle plants actually get some sunlight. Alright, so we're going to start with the Thai basil. Because this is a stubborn one. This one grows massively. I don't know why, but... Alright, so you want to cut mature leaves. You don't want to cut the babies. The babies are usually at the bottom. These are all your mature ones. I'm going to show you and I'll get close once I'm done trimming this. We're going to put it on a sheet pan. I'm going to rinse it and then bake it. And then we're going to store it in a container. You do not want to cut too much, especially the babies, because then you will kill off your plant and it will not grow anymore. Can you guys see that? See how the babies? They're smaller than your original one. Well, the parsley is in the way, but once I cut that down, you guys will see. All right, so. See a baby there? Don't want to cut that off. These are also babies. They're still not fully mature. You can see the difference between a fully mature one and a baby. Don't know if you guys can actually physically see it, but you could just, I mean, you could tell. Let me cut it down further. Sometimes, you know, you mess up and you might clip a baby or two. Just what happens. It's normal. My dill. All right, we're gonna go onto the dill because the dill is literally a pain in the butt. So we're gonna go close on here. All right, so with the dill, you can see the difference between the babies and the mature ones. So if I bend my plants over here, you see how it is massively spread out? That's mature. Then you have your babies in between. They are growing. You don't want to cut that. My dill is so big that I think I'm just going to cut it down to like half here. 
just to get it down because it is massively big and it's surpassing my light. I know there's a baby there that's growing right there but it's just surpassing my light Like this one, you see there's a baby in the middle. I'm gonna spread it here. I'll spread it apart if you guys can see. See one here and one here. So I'm gonna cut this one. I'm gonna cut that one, but I'm gonna leave the baby. Because that baby is gonna keep on reproducing. This is all majority of it. been there for weeks so and if it's too close to the light you can see that it starts to get burned this plant is so selfish with the light I keep saying that hey, nobody actually physically believes me but unless they see it I cut this one off too it's mature this one as well You'll see by cutting it down, you'll see a big difference. And then your plant will keep on growing once you do this. So as you guys can see, I'm very careful with some of them because I see new babies coming in and in between see there's new sprouts here 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 in the back and this is mint mint Pen in the ass as well. But because I have all those babies growing in, I'm going to cut it from there. Just leave the rest. See? Can you guys see all those babies? That's why it takes my plant a bit down. My basil. I have not cut my thyme that many times because it hasn't grown overwhelmingly. And because the other plants take up a lot of the light, it's still at about, you're looking at five inches maybe, not even six inches. But my basil did grow while it was gone. I did cut it down as well, but because I took these guys away, that's why it grew. So you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to wash this, air dry it, and then we're going to bake it into the oven. And then we're just going to store it in the container. Let me get close here so you guys can see. Look how much I got out from that little small arrow garden. It's amazing. Literally amazing. Of course, now I'll have to pick up the little residue on the floor, but that's okay. <laughs> And here is my other system. We're not going to cut that right now. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Just this one. Okay, now I'm going to lower down the light. Once all the herbs are in the oven, approximately for maybe 15, 20 minutes at about 350 degrees, this is what you're going to get. It, everything's going to shrivel up and you're going to use your hands and you're just going to just smush it. And you get this powder, just like seasonings. I had to store it here in a Ziploc bag because I didn't have a container. 
but I'm going to buy one tomorrow at Walmart, and we're going to just store it in there. Guys, you can use this for anything. It's just seasoning. Great flavor for everything.